I literally went into the hair shop for one thing, went into Boots or Superdrug for one thing, and I ended up spending like £45. I'm gonna use this for my water to put in my hair and spray my shit. Yes, I should be able to use at least the top part with my natural hair. Bit scared of doing that. So I saw that the one that I was using was running out, and I was like, no, bitch, I'm not running out of my good goods, my holy grail leaving conditioner. I'm not running out. Then when I go and look through my drawers now, I got some more hidden away because I had too many out. So I've got like five of these now. <laughs> Nitrates and all kind of rates and, and tates and lates and all of them things are there. Up in this. Are you talking about home concoction? Shut up. I really hope my curls come back. Like, please, bitch. I really hope. <laughs> Hi guys, Cuss Girls here, welcome back to my channel. If you read the title of this video, it is. Got lots of products right here, a hair haul. Lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Gonna go through it with you guys, tell you why I've bought certain products and just, just talk to you guys. Just, <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. But yeah, just a hair haul, hair product haul. If you'd like to see what I've been purchasing over the last couple of months, keep watching and let's just get into the video. Before I get started, follow me on my socials, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat and follow me on the Twitters and let's go. So, um, probably gonna have to dig to the bottom of this bag because a lot of the stuff on the top is the new stuff. So, I know I said hair haul means things I purchased. Um, I didn't purchase this, but my mum's giving me this this is um, Eden Essentials Conditioner for Hair Citrus Fuser. It is smooth and strengthened. Um, I don't know why my mom has this. Mom has locks, yeah? So I don't know why she has this product, but she, obviously she don't like it, so she's now giving it to me. I haven't tried it yet. Um, when I get around to trying it, I'll try it. I haven't even smelled it. I don't even know what this smells like. I just thought, ooh, conditioner. Let me keep it. It's supposed to be citrus fusions, but I can't smell it. I got a bit of a block nose as well, guys. Yo. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what it's got in it. It has. Okay, starts off with water. Got some um, alcohols. Coconut oil. Shea butter. Um glycerin uh fragrance acai what's that acai fruit ex ex extract um citrus or say orange peel extract lime yeah lime fruit extract um hyd hydrolyzed quinoa kelp so there's come uh, there's some decent products in here some decent um ingredients in here um, it says, what does it say? Nutrient rich conditioner to fortify and strengthen the hair. Great as a rinse out or a leave in. Hmm, smooths, reduces frizz and nourishes. Smooth down here, leave it in. Rinse after 10 minutes or leave it. Okay, it's not that, you know, informative, but it's all right, it's cool. Um, yeah, some conditioner that my mom got me. Some more Eden's Natural. E I haven't tried this. My mom must have tried this and then not liked it. And again, it's given it to me. So Eden. Body work. Let's open this. Oh, this smells good. Coconut and shea. Okay, coconut and shea. All natural pudding souffle moisturize coconut shea all natural pudding souffle adds moisture to dry thirsty tresses using uh, exotic blend of all natural ingredients fortify um, formulated to reduce frizz um, enhance textured styles and provide soft shiny finish okay Let's look at the ingredients. I miss his ingredients girl nowadays. So ingredients, water, some alcohols, shea butter, 
some other stuff I don't recognize coconut oil um jehovah seed oil avocado oil I don't know what the hell that is vitamin e glycerin um aloe vera fragrance and some other stuff um for the ingredients this seems quite all right I haven't tried this yet um as you can see my hair is somewhat straight it's a bit frizzy I've had this I straightened my hair about two weeks ago and all I've been doing is having it up because I don't know how to straighten hair anymore that's neither here nor there but yeah um, I haven't been using no products in my hair apart from a little bit of water just to scrape it up and this is over the like last like week and a half I've had my hair straight for um 20 days 22 days something like that but yeah when I do get around to trying this I'll let you guys know what I think next next so I was at work <laughs> and I got there early and I decided to go into Superdrug and or Boots and pick up some hair products but yeah um one of the products I bought from either Superdrug or Boots I don't remember which one it was it was a couple weeks ago so I don't remember um was the Garnier Garnier Ultimate Blend Nourishing Hair Food Banana and Shea. I've been wanting to try this for a while since it's been out, but it's been really expensive. It's been like seven or eight pounds. Um, I usually spend more, more than that on other products, but because obviously I don't use Garnier, that's not really for us, isn't it? It's for them, isn't it? So it's for them straight hair girls. Um, so but Garnier wants to come back into the natural hair world now or come into the natural hair world now so I thought let me give it a try it was on offer it was only 350 and yeah I have tried this um I will do a review on what I think of this but yeah I have tried this at this point yeah Garnier next products on my lunch break from work I picked up some more of the protein packs by Palmer's. I love these and I was running out and I didn't have any. So I picked up a couple of the coconut ones. I only have one to hand, the rest of them in my bathroom. I haven't used any because my hair has been straight. But yeah, protein pack. I'm probably gonna use this tomorrow because I need to wash my hair. I'm done with this straight. <laughs> I'm done with the straightness. I want my curls back, so. Hopefully my curls revert back nicely. I was, <sighs> the amount of passes I was doing to get this hair straight, oh my God, I'm a mess. I do not know how to straighten hair anymore, but that's neither here nor there. So, <laughs> coconut oil um, protein pack. I've tried this many a times. Just need to re-up because I don't have any. Same with the Mahuka flower honey, Mahuka honey. I love this one. This is the one I love the most. Oh my God. Didn't have any of these left. There was an offer. I think it was two for three or something. I don't remember. I picked up a bunch of these. So I literally went into the hair shop for one thing. Went into Boots or Superdrug for one thing. And I ended up spending like £45. <sighs> Whatever. It's neither here nor there. But yeah. Protein pack. And this was on my list of things I want to try if you haven't seen that video it will either be an eye card in the description bar below it is the chia seed and argan oil hair pack hair mask sorry but yeah I really wanted to try this natural fusions I haven't tried it yet I'll probably try it tomorrow but yeah this looks a bit empty to be honest but yeah so what this says no sulfates, no parabens, no, I don't know what that is, no m mineral oil, no gluten, deep condition, boosts hydration, 95% sourced ingredients, naturally sourced ingredients. Hmm. Okay, what does it say it does? Let's, let's get to reading. Um, I'm a bit blind, so I have shit really close to my eyes, by the way. I'm supposed to be wearing my glasses, but I don't wear glasses like that i only wear glasses this is nothing to do with nothing only meant to be wearing glasses when i use computers i work with computers i work and i don't wear my glasses so 
my eyesight's getting worse, but that's neither here nor there. And this writing is kind of small, but whatever. Um, artfully crafted cocktail of na nature's most nourishing and hydrating botanicals. Palmer's natural fusions takes the guesswork out of DIY home blended concoctions and uses the finest ingredients to care for your hair. Okay, B. <laughs> okay. Key fusions. Chia seed. This super fruit helps strengthen and protect new growth. Argan oil. You already know how I feel about argan oil. If you don't know how I feel about argan oil, I have a favorite oils video. I'll put it in the i cards or in the description bar below. But yeah, back to this. Argan oil. This liquid gold standard of rejuvenating dull lifeless hair okay ingredients let's get on to the ingredients i didn't get onto the ingredients of that one i can't be bothered fuck it um ingredients water some oils glycerin um a bunch of other stuff that i don't like fragrance this, look at this this is a mess this is an actual mess How have you got fragrance a bunch of oils then wait one two wait 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 let's remove oil water sorry let's count water sorry i'm making no sense water let's start with water one two three four five six seven eight eight ingredients seven ingredients other than water let's say that and then we get to some sunflower seed you said chia seed where that at though where that it Chia seed, where's that? So sunflower seed oil, then um, ar argan oil. That it says the real name, but bro, I don't know that name like that. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is probably chia seed. So I don't know what that that scientific name is. Shea butter, coconut oil, some other um, seed oil I don't recognize. Rosemary, rice, rice balm wax and a bunch of other things i don't quite recognize you're telling me you're trying to this is a bit feisty you're taking the guesswork at a diy home blended concoctions but the bag of bag of things that you got in it where's the home concoction nurse you just got a, ba a bag of fucking uh alcohols and 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 fates and and nitrates and all kind of rates and and tates and lates and all of them thing they're there up in this you're talking about home concoctions shut up whatever i'm still gonna try that but that low-key pissed me off anyway next let's go let's go okay let's go to the hair shop so go to my local hair shop on a regular we're gonna go to the hair shop again but yeah um so some sunny aisle black jamaican castor oil i needed some more of this even though i have some castor oil from actually jamaica my nan when she went there for my uncle's funeral i repeat her unks um she bought me some home and i've been using that religiously and i've been feeling like because of the straight hair and because i was doing like five six passes with my hair with the straighteners guys i know don't kill me i already know this I really hope my curls come back. Like, please, bitch. I really hope. I really hope. Anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. So, I already have some curls to oil in it. I was going way off topic. So, the reason why I mentioned my straight hair. Yo, I've been feeling like my hairline has been running back. So, I've been using my curls oil regularly. So... I needed some more castor oil because obviously I've been using it a lot. So I bought some sunny oil like I always usually use. So some sunny oil is the there. Also from the hair shop, I got some Shea Moisture products. Anyone who knows me knows I love fucking Shea Moisture. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even think of a video you should click on. Re um, I can't think of one, there's too many. Just go, just click on the playlist. The playlist is going to be either in the i cards or in the description bar below. Binge watch my videos, yeah? Kelsey's back. Kelsey Kells is back with a vengeance. Go and watch the videos to catch up. 
yes so some Shea Moisture if you know me I don't read the whole epistle of Shea Moisture product names can't be fucking asked so Shea Moisture um Mahuka Honey and Mafura Oil hair mask not reading the whole you already know um I love this yes I had to re-up so I bought another one that's it I'm not gonna go into no long ass details I picked up some more of these Shea Moisture Black Jamaican Cast Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioners. I picked up about three of these. Forgetting that I already had some, but I didn't know that. So I saw that the one that I was using was running out and I was like, no bitch, I'm not running out of my good goods, my holy grail leave-in conditioner. I'm not running out. Then when I go and look through my drawers now, I got some more hidden away because I had too many out. So I've got like five of these now, but yeah, I picked up three when I ended up buying this. But yeah, so I'm just showing you the one because I can't bother to bring them all. What's the point? It's all the same product, but yeah. This is banging. I would recommend this to everyone and my best friend who I keep talking about, who I love, who is in a couple videos of mine. One of the videos she's in is when we went to Paris for our birthdays, that's gonna be in the eye cards or in the description bar below. Or oh, both of the Hyper Japan videos. I want to do another Hyper Japan, guys. Let me put this down, completely off topic. I want to do another Hyper Japan video, guys. This, this, the Christmas one, the winter one. Uh, Hyper Japan is canceled. They didn't book it on time or whatever the case may be. This is not my fault. This is Hyper Japan and them people that are there. This is nothing to do with me. But yeah, Hyper Japan is not happening this Christmas. So there's not gonna be no Hyper Japan videos. I don't know if you guys were looking forward to them. I was looking forward to going, but I can't go now because <laughs> it's not happening. So yes, I'm gonna have to wait until July, but that's never here. Not a dear. Anyway, <laughs> again, Shea Moisture. Mahuka honey and Mafura oil leave-in milk. I love this product, had to buy some more. That's it, next. Shea Moisture Black Jamaican Castor Oil Restore, oh yeah, Strengthen and Restore Lock and Braid Butter. Bang in. You already know I love this product. It's in one of the videos, I don't remember which one. I don't remember. <laughs> I ain't been on my channel, well, on my videos in so long. I don't remember which one it is, but whatever. Um, so yeah, let's move on to Amazon. So if you don't know guys, I buy my oils from Amazon from this particular company. So this is a bit oily because I opened it today because I was trying to start some shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, the first oil I bought is, how big is this? One liter of sweet almond oil this is just regular sweet almond oil i had organic sweet almond oil last time and i didn't use it all and i ended up having to throw it away uh last week last week so i was a bit pissed off so i decided to go finish the regular one now and i better finish this shit it is expiry date is the 31st of august 2021 so i've got time to complete this or to finish this but yeah some sweet almond oil. Next product. Again, I needed to re-up on all my oils because they were out of date. So I picked up some extra virgin olive oil. Um, this is also one liter. This goes out the date the 31st of August 2020. I better finish this shit because this shit was fucking expensive. But yeah, I'm gonna use this in other things, use this on my skin. Use obviously in my hair. I'm so glad I got my oils back because it's been fuckery not having my oils and I'm having to do a bunch of madness. But yeah, some olive oil. Next oil is some. Why does this feel like it's leaking? Some Jehovah oil. Jehovah, Jehovah, same shit. Uh, I bought a small. This is usually expensive, so I always buy like this size. I don't remember 
I really don't remember buying a bigger size than this because a <laughs> girl's pockets is not sound like that. Like all of these oils are big, big expensive. I have to really be like, do I have 60 or 70 pounds to, to, to burn to buy my oils? I've been putting them off for months, from probably last year actually, I've been putting off make, buying some oils because I couldn't afford it. I was broke, so. But yeah, I had to bite the bullet because I really had no oils and I had to throw away the oils I had because I were out of date. I really told you guys about this expiry date business, yeah? So, back on topic. Jehovah oil, golden. Uh, this goes out of date on the 31st of May, 2022. <laughs> it's not gonna last that long because I love this shit, so. yo yo. And the last oil I got from Amazon is uh virgin avocado oil i need to buy some argan oil as well i've been i actually used the last of my argan oil today that's new here not there i'll probably buy some of that i don't know when i'll buy it but i'll buy it so this is organic ex um virgin avocado oil oh pardon me um i had a big one of this end up having to throw it away it was like splitty and weird and disgusting and that's how i noticed that my oils were out of date and then i checked them all i had to throw all of them away because i was like girl you're not putting this disgusting shit in your hair this goes out of date um uh, the 31st of the 1st 2021 so i better finish this this is not that big again i told you i had a one liter one that i had to throw away and this is only 250 so how much is in there? Yeah, 250 milliliters. I was trying to get one of these bottles from AliExpress, but AliExpress doesn't do PayPal. And I only wanted to use PayPal through AliExpress. So I was like, I'm not I'm not gonna give you guys my card information. I don't fucking trust you like that. Um, so yeah, I bought went on eBay, bought one of these spray bottles. Obviously, this is the one that has like the light mist. I haven't really used this. Obviously, I tested it out when I bought it and it came, what, yesterday? Day before? Yesterday it came, actually. Maybe it's the day before. I don't remember. It came a couple of days ago. Um, but yeah, the light mist. I obviously, I've got the big bottle one. I already have bottles that I use for my water so I can use my other glass brown bottle for something else. And I'm just going to use this for my water to put in my hair and spray my shit. But yes. Went into the hair shop because I wanted to buy some new combs. Because my hair has been straight for the last, since the start of this month, um, October, since the start of this month, um, I've been using a lot of combs in my hair. I decided, you know what? I've had the combs I've been using for years, like longer than, it feels like longer than 10 years I've had these, these combs. I don't like that. So I was like, Kels, you need to do better and just re-up. So I threw away a lot of my combs. I haven't actually thrown them away yet. I do plan on throwing away some of my combs and replacing my old combs with my new combs. So I bought a bag of combs. So yeah, you're going to see like, girl, why have you got so many combs? <laughs> I needed them. But yeah, first one is a somewhat wide tooth comb. This one, I already have one of these. Six inch wide fluff comb, styling comb. Again, kind of wide tooth comb um this comb has been like a godsend with my hair not uh my hair right now because i have another one like this but the teeth were a little bit broken so that's the main reason why i decided to buy all these combs and because obviously i've had them so long so i just re-upped and buy another one of these combs so yeah i haven't seen this particular comb in about 15 years <laughs> and it just Gave me so much nostalgia and I was like, girl, you gotta buy this. It's only 80p. So yeah, might as well. These other two were 80p as well, by the way, from my local hair shop. I bought this wide tooth comb with, obviously this part of the combs are wider and then this part of the, the teeth are a little bit closer together. They're still kind of apart. So I should be able to use at least the top part with my natural hair bit scared of doing that it's a nine inch comb uh chemical and heat resistant that's what it says all right whatever these teeth always break off anyway so 
I don't think this is gonna last very long, but yeah. Again, I was kind of in a nostalgic state and decided to buy a supposedly detangling comb. I don't know what I'm gonna detangle with this. But yeah, detangling styling comb. I haven't had one of these in, like I said, about 15 years. ATP for, let me buy it. These next two combs are a little bit more expensive. This one is a rat tail comb and a rat tail comb but with a tooth comb a, a wide tooth comb so it's basically this comb but with a hand this comb but with a handle um i like that it was purple they had different colors but i went to pick up the purple one i usually get rat tail combs in black but i thought no girl like let's switch it up and <laughs> get something else so decided to get the it's called bone tail comb and what's this other one called long tail comb whatever uh yeah this one was 130 two combs seems all right it seems like a bargain to me if you know anything about me i'm not an edges person i don't really do shit with my edges i kind of just let my hair be as it be but i thought if i ever wanted to try doing shit with my edges i need to get edge comb so i saw this and i thought hmm let me pick it up so it is a double-sided edge edge control brush and comb grooms and smooths edges so it's got the brush side and then the comb side uh i probably will never use this but if i ever want to smooth my edges or groom my edges i'm not an edges person guys i don't like this off my edges i kind of like that my natural hair i kind of like my natural hair to be and lay how it wants to lay I don't really like to do too much. If a bristle brush can't sort it out, then I'm just gonna leave it. So yeah, um, I don't do shit with my edges, but I decided to buy this just in case I feel a bit fancy and I want to. So yeah. One of the last things I bought from the hair shop, which is a huge staple for me, is some plastic caps. <laughs> I go through these I go through these. Yeah, I use about two or three at a time because I have a lot of hair. Might not seem like I have a lot of hair by how I'm styling it today, but I have a lot of hair on my head. And one will not fit on my head, yeah? Or there'll be, sp hair will be falling out the back or falling out the front or falling out the side. I ain't got time for that. So I usually put two on my head at a time. And then when I use it, I throw it away because no, I don't recycle like that, so no. Um, this was 50p. No, this was a pound. I think these were a pound. Um, yeah. Never go wrong with some shower caps. This is dirty, but I bought a couple of um, head scarves. So I bought some more silk scarves. I gave my mum my one the last time she was here. And then I was like, girl, you ain't got no scarves. So what are you going to do? So I decided to buy myself some scarves. So I got another black one. A red one and when I bought all of these combs last week I bought myself a white one don't know why I decided to pick up white I know the reason why I started, decided to pick up white actually they didn't have any other color so I was like girl what if you need some more scarves I I might start using these as like head wraps because they're actually quite big like they're actually quite big let me show you let me show you. Obviously, I've been using this one. That's why it's a bit greasy looking. But yeah, these are quite big. Quite nice. But yeah, but guys, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Be part of the notification gang. Follow me on my socials. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat. And follow me on the Twitters. And like I always say, be the best version of you can be. Be unapologetically you. Hope you got something productive done today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!